Hey everybody, I got another video review here, and this time we have the Kotobukiya Wonder Woman movie um, artifacts statue. And so, I'm just gonna take a quick look at Wonder Woman from the Wonder Woman movie, and this is the one that's as portrayed by Gal Gadot. Um, and this is an artifact scale, so it's about one six scale PVC statue. And we'll do a 360. You can really see the good detail on that sword, God Killer sword. Now there are alternate swords, and I'll show those in a minute. A sword and a shield. Uh, with the one from the Batman vs Superman, and then the one she used in the Wonder Woman movie. And lots of detail on this statue. And you can see the golden lasso of truth. Uh, really good detail on the hair and the shield. So while we're at the shield, I'll take this opportunity to show the other shield. So here it is. This is the other shield, and it's replaceable. You can see the arm has a peg. So I like her with this shield, even though the shield and sword kind of don't go together. And this is the sword that actually goes with this shield, the one she used, and uh, you can see some of the details on it, right in. There's again some good detail of her brace bracelet, and then her straps, and the straps are like a separate piece, so they're loose, but they don't come off or anything. Um, some good battle damage. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. You can see some of the battle damage on her, on her armor, and then up to the face. They did a good job with the face too. Really good details. Realism is really good there. It's not you know Hot Toys, the new figure they have for there, but. Um, it's really good quality for the PVC type statue. Yeah, I'll just give you one more pan. Alright, so there you go. That's the Kotobukiya Wonder Woman Artifacts statue movie version and thanks for watching